Welcome to our video on social housing. This video will talk you through how to apply for social housing, what forms you need, where to get them and how to fill them out. Before filling out your application, you need to ensure you are either A. Living in the Fingal area or B. Have a local connection in that area. So what is a local connection? A local connection is a member of the household that has lived in the area for a continuous five year period at any time. A member of the household is employed in the area or within 15 kilometers. A member of the household is in full time education in any university, college, school or other educational establishment in the area. A member of the household who has endured physical, sensory, mental health or intellectual impairment is attending a related educational or medical establishment in the area. Or lastly, a relative of any member of the household lives in the area and has lived here for a minimum of two years. So how do I apply? To start the process, the first thing you need to do is get your hands on a social housing application form. Then to apply, this form needs to be filled out completely and returned to the Fingal County Council housing support team. Where can I find one of these forms? The easiest place to get your hands on one of the social housing application forms is on the Fingal website. Another way you can access one is by requesting it directly from our customer care agents by ringing the number 01 890 5000. Or lastly, you can get in direct contact with the housing support team on 01 890 5902. Where do you submit your application? There are three ways to submit your application, so pick which one works best for you. The first way is by post to the address on screen now, which is Housing Support Team, Housing Department, Grove Road, Blanchardstown, Dublin 15, D15, W638. The second is by email to the email address housing.allocations at fingal.ie. The third and final way you can submit your application is through the drop box located outside Fingal County Council buildings in both Blanchardstown and Swords. Here are some things that are important to note when filling out your application. To help you along, a checklist of all extra and supporting documents that you need to submit alongside your application are listed on page 3 and 4 of the form. In order to have a fully completed form, you must remember to fill in all relevant sections. It is important that you answer all questions on the application form. Your application will not move forward unless all the information we need is filled in. If there is a question that doesn't apply to you, you should write N slash A in the box provided. It is also crucial that you sign the declaration on page 23 of the form. So on to the actual form. The form is split up into 12 parts. The first part is personal details or about you. This part asks things like your name, your date of birth, your current address. The second part is nationality details. So where are you from? This part asks about where you were born, what languages you speak and your citizenship status. The third part are your employment details, or where do you work? This part asks if you are working and then the details of that work if you answer yes. The fourth part is income details, so what money do you get? This part asks about the money you are getting on a weekly basis. The fifth part is details of other household members or other people applying with you. This part asks about the people who will live in the house with you, for example your partner or any children you may have. The sixth part is current accommodation, so where do you live now? This part just asks about your current living situation. The seventh part is accommodation history or where have you lived before. This part asks for information on previous living situations. The eighth part is housing requirements or what house do you need. This part asks about what specific things you need in your house. The ninth part is basis for application. This part ensures you are applying in just one area and you meet the requirements for that area. The 10th part is other property information or other houses that you own. This part asks about the property or land you might already own. The 11th part is public order offences and other information. This part asks if you've ever had any trouble with the Gardaí. And lastly, other information. The final part is where you add in anything else that might be important or helpful to support your application. So what supporting documents do you need? When submitting documents regarding your income, we need to see evidence for the past year for each member of the household that's over the age of 18. 
So for example, if you're applying in July 2021, you will need to provide evidence of your income from July 2020 to the month that you submit, a full 12 months. These next few clips will detail the documents you need depending on whether you're employed, self-employed or receiving social welfare payments. If you are employed, you will need to include payslips for the current year and or a statement of liability or an employment detail summary form from the previous year alongside your application. A statement of liability is issued to PAYE customers and gives details of your total income from all sources, a breakdown of your tax credit, any tax and universal social charge that you have paid during the year, as well as any underpayments or overpayments of tax. This can be requested through your revenue.ie account. If you are self-employed, alongside your completed social housing application form, you will need a minimum of two years accounts with an auditor's report. As well as this, you will need a notice of assessment and or self-assessment acknowledgement letter for the last 12 months. Lastly, if you are receiving social welfare payments, all you need to include alongside your completed social housing application is a recent statement from the Department of Social Protection. These can be found online. If you need further information or help completing your social housing application form, you can visit the Fingal County Council website and view the easy to read guide. As well as this, you can get in contact with a member of our housing support team via email at housing.allocations at fingal.ie or by phone on 01 890 5000 or 01 890 5902. Here are some important contact information details that you might need throughout this process. Please pause now to take note of these. Thank you for watching our informational video on social housing. If you need any further information, you can visit our website, fingal.ie, or don't hesitate to get in contact with any of the numbers provided throughout this presentation.